Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you everything about uh, 1Y ANOVA that is analysis of variance from entering data in its spaces to uh, interpreting the results uh, going by checking the normality and other assumptions uh, namely the homogeneity of variance as well as uh, the normality of or the distribution of the data so we open our spaces so we have the data view and variable view so first of all we have to enter the data and we have to go to the variable view and we are going to put the first variable is called id we leave it like this for the label we put id again and for the measure we can put it scale so this is just uh, it will help us in fact to see other uh, that is the participants or the subjects of our study just as a serialization and the second variable is going to be uh, for example we have groups so this is the independent variable okay so we need to put the, the label here groups and then we are going to put the values so in our experiment we have three groups where we have the control group so number one is the control group that is the group that uh, has not received any treatment uh, then we have the prompt group or that is the group that has received feedback or using prompt so we're going to put, uh, put here the value 2 and put the label uh, prompt and then we have the third group which is the uh, the recast group so as you can see uh, one way ANOVA analyzes differences whether they are statistically significant or no um, between three groups or more that is two or more groups so uh, we are going to enter the data like this this is for the group uh, for the second or the third variable is called scores so for scores uh, so these are the scores that students get on tests so and then for we have to determine the scale so this this is a nominal those were the the, uh, the dependent or the independent variable uh, is nominal that is we have three groups so names that is categories whereas for the scores so this is a in, in uh, that is an all uh, continuous scale so we should put this one so as you can see we have nominal ordinal data and we have a uh, scale that is uh, interval or ratio data so we put scale in general uh, then we go to the data view so we are going to get three groups uh, so we have these are the the number of students and then i'm going to uh, put the values of each group so we have group one group uh, one which is the control group so I'm going to check uh, group 1 to the number 10 that is the number of participants in the experiment then group 2 uh, which is as we labeled it is the uh, prompt group so we're going to put 2 like this till 20 so this is it contains again uh, 10 participants and group 3 which is the recast group uh, we have again 10 participants okay so once we finish entering the data like this we can omit this variable that is the id just it will help us to i'm not going to use it i just give you an idea okay so we are going to go to the scores and enter the scores so i already have uh, the scores of uh, participants in this group uh, this uh, spreadsheet so i'm going to put the scores of the control group according to one because they are coded as one and the scores of the prompt group two number two 
and then the scores of the recast group that is the third group as three so you are going to get the results like this one okay so anyway I'm going to just show you how okay so once we enter the data the second step is to check uh, the normality of the data and so these are two ways whether to check uh, using kurtosis and sconis or other methods like the shapiro wilk test or the kolmogorov Semyonov test so i'm going to show you the the frequent method i'm going to go to uh, descriptive statistics then uh, explore i'm going to put the dependent variable that is the score and the dependent list and the group variable to the factor or in the factor list for the statistics I'm going to go to plots and, and check stem and leaf because it is checked by default check of histogram then we choose normality plots with tests and click continue and then we click ok so I'm waiting for the output uh, view so this is the output view we have tests of normality so the Shapiro work test uh, tells us that uh, the groups have uh, that is the data in the three group are or normally distributed because the values are uh, above 0 0.05 that is if the data is above 0 uh, the, the value of uh, Shapiro work is above 0 0.05 this means that there is no statistically significant difference between uh, uh, or in the distribution of the data therefore we can say that the data is normally distributed you can see the histogram to make sure of this and uh, the normal uh, kickoff plots and if you want to see whether or not there are outliers we can check the box plots so here these are no outliers that is those values that do not follow normal distribution so anyway so once we make sure of this we are we need to make sure also of the homogeneity of uh, variance using the another test that is called Levin's test so um, uh, the homogeneity of variance using Levin's test we are going to follow the same methods that we have adopted for the normality test so we go to analyze descriptive statistics and then explore so we already moved the variables so we're going to go to the plots and then and check normality plots and then we are going to choose power estimation and we're going to uncheck histogram and then click on power estimation so this is the test of homogeneity as you can see based on the mean so there is no statistically significant uh, difference in distribution as you can see based on the mean because this is parametric for the non-parametric test is based on the median so the p-value is less than 0.05 or more or greater than 0.05 this indicates if it is more than 0.05 this indicates that the data follows uh, the homogeneity variance assumption and then we can proceed or proceed to the to run the test that is the one way ANOVA so we go to analyze and we go to general linear model univariate and then we are going to put the dependent variable in this place and the groups we are going to put them in this fixed factor and then we are going to go to uh, our post hoc test and move this variable here and choose the 2k uh, post hoc test so these are different types of tests so I have chosen 2k uh, because I have uh, the same participants the same number of participants in each group it is 10 10 10 and which they will amount to 30 so I'm going to click continue uh, for other uh, windows you can just see them like this uh, 
so I'm just showing you the cities because some of you may have different cities uh, for this one I'm going to transfer again these two variables to display me that is univariate options and we can go for the if you want to see the Bonferrini test uh, then uh, I already used the other test to check that and if I want to check again homogeneity tests and even uh, I can use it on descriptive statistics I can uh, select these options and even estimate of effect size that is Levin's test so I'm going to select these options so I already checked those exceptions I'm going just to click continue and then click OK and run the test so as you can see here uh, we have uh, the one-way ANOVA as well as the post hoc test so this is the result of the one-way ANOVA for the uni uni univariate analysis of variance well, what concerns us here is this table that is the dependent variable test of between subjects fx as you can see that there are three significant uh, or statistically significant differences uh, between the groups but we don't know exactly uh, which group so here the groups so I'm just concerned with this value of the groups so which means that there is statistically significant difference in the scores of students in the three groups therefore we can say that uh, we can uh, uh, reject the null hypothesis that says that there is no statistically significant difference between the groups however we don't know the direction of uh, the difference which one differs from which therefore we go to the post hoc tests and multiple comparisons that is the 2k honest uh, description test or something like this uh, so we are going to see the control groups we have the prompt group and the recast so we have the difference between the control group and the prompt group so this is the sick level which means that it is uh, significant again the, the difference between control group and recast group significant uh, again so we have all groups we can go and compare the groups uh, one with another if you find the p-value uh, above 0.05 or 0.01 according to the level that you have identified uh, you can say that you can fail to reject the null hypothesis if you find it above but if you found it uh, uh, lower than uh, the, the p-value that is 0.05 you conclude that there is statistically significant difference so we are going to copy those two tables and go to our uh, research paper and uh, put the, th the, the group so this is the comparison between the prompt and the recent uh, the recast groups as you can see we report these findings and we say that there is statistically significant difference and then uh, so I reported the 2k HSD test uh, but I included that on uh, uh, another page that is on the appendix so this is the table the Tokyo SD or HISDA on multiple comparisons so you can even include it in the data analysis so it doesn't matter so either way you do that uh, uh, that's it I think uh, you can interpret the data according to your uh, hypothesis and uh, you know your research topic so in fact there is another t method to get this table that is the one way ANOVA that you can include in your analysis so I'm going to show you the method so I'm going to go back to this basis uh, spreadsheet so uh, so the method is that we go to analyze and instead of going to a general, general linear model we go to compare means and within compare means we go to one way ANOVA and then uh, we select each variable and put it according to its uh, appropriate uh, category dependent variable dependent list or factor list and then uh, without going to options so I'm going just to leave this like this and click OK 
so and here here is the table that I told you about so we can copy and paste this table and you can format it according to APA style or whatever so that's it and uh, I think that's all if you have other other questions do not hesitate to post them below and see you in another video